the same thing a block of mass 10 kg is lived on a fixed wedge inside a cart which is moved with constant velocity so the same situation earlier it was accelerated motion now i'm bringing uniform velocity motion so let me put the diagram properly Now what is the state of the wedge as the cart is moving the wedge will also be moving <coughs> so let this be these are the forces the mass of the block 10 kg given so it didn't say anything about further so it's telling this is v naught work them a normal reaction is asking so what are the forces they'll be acting along with it i think we have to assume all the situations properly here I read the question and try to analyze the situation So what are the forces they'll be acting? Let's begin with this mg sine theta, the frictional force, the frictional force on the wedge. That the same earlier, it was moved with constant acceleration. Now I'm going to move the wedge with a constant velocity. Now what makes the block, the initial velocity of block with respect to cart is zero then work done by normal reaction with respect to ground on the block in two seconds it's asking only work done by normal reaction no? it, it didn't say anything about the block will slide on the wedge or nothing so shall we take it to be rough or smooth So let, let, let it be rough, we'll assume it. So in the two seconds, what is the displacement of the wedge that we can calculate here? And n sine theta will act horizontally, n cos theta. So here tan theta is less than mu. So what is the friction force acting will be static. This will be then n sine theta. So what is the displacement of the block should be equal to <laughs> displacement of the wedge should be called displacement of block because the block will be at rest with respect to wedge. So therefore, what is the displacement and what is work done by normal contact? We will work out all the things. Work done by normal contact should be equal to on the block. N sine theta into displacement of block. Is that okay? Let, let me assume a situation like this tan theta less than mu the block will not slide with respect to which so i'm i'm getting this one so is there an SUR? i just picked up this problem so what is the value of n n equal to mg cos theta some so this should be equal to mg cos theta sine theta into v naught t work done by the weight how much work done by the weight on the block? How is the displacement of the block? Horizontal, no? How the weight mg will act? Vertically down, it will be zero. What is work done by the friction on the block? F cos theta into xb. So what is f? F should be static friction, no? Don't write mu mg cos theta. This is a thing. I said, if there is no friction, what to do? So uh, what I assumed, I assumed a condition that tan theta less than mu. If there is no friction, <coughs> how we should do here the problem? Oh, 
Okay, goddess, I, I just assume that there's a first case. A second case, there is no friction. If there is no friction, the wedges move with a constant velocity. What, what will happen to block? Block is acted upon by the mg sine theta and the normal contact. So it will accelerate. How much of acceleration will be g sine theta? Shall I scroll down? Because it didn't mention anything. So and moreover, it didn't give any options. Just as some subjective question is there. So I am assuming the first case, this is rough and tan theta less than mu. So let's do one thing. Second case. <coughs> tan theta, or so like a mu zero. If mu is zero, what do you mean by mu zero? Smooth. inclined plane. Let's analyze the problem like this. The wedge is moving with a constant velocity V0. Now what are the forces acting on the G sine theta, mg sine theta, here mg cos theta. So the acceleration of the block will be equal to how much? G sine theta. AR. So what is AR is equal to acceleration of the block with respect to wedge. And acceleration of the wedge is zero, so therefore this will become acceleration. Then you calculate the velocity of the block at an instant of time. It will be VR. Got this? So then relative velocity, you take application. From that, you calculate the displacement of the block. So here, XR equal to AR T squared. AR is G sine theta by 2 T squared. What is this? Displacement of the block with respect to wedge along the incline. With respect to wedge along the incline. Or just write with respect to wedge. I got the displacement of block with respect to wedge. Then. Uh, what is the displacement of wedge <coughs> in this direction? So again, the same formula, like earlier what we did. This will be XR, this will be Then what is the formula? XR cos theta is equal to displacement of block Displacement of block along x-axis minus displacement of wedge along x-axis. So this, we know XR g sine theta t square by 2 cos theta this we don't know and this we know x naught what is x naught x naught equal to v into t because the wedge is moving with a constant velocity so from this i'll get the equation so this should be equal to x naught plus g sine theta cos theta by 2 t square or v naught t you write it so this will be g okay i got this one so no displacement of block with respect to ground along y axis so what should be the value of that i'll scroll down x b y should be equal to xr sine theta same thing like previous problem what i did now calculate the work done by the normal contact i i assumed it because it didn't mention anything i just assumed two cases tan theta less than mu then mu equal to zero so what is work done by normal contact on the block there are two things are there no n sine theta into x b x n cos theta into x b y Solve this, you'll get some value. <coughs> okay. There's a basic condition like this. So the block can be moved with a constant speed. So all the different situations will come. 